without sizes. If you don't uh, um, challenge the HVAC contractors that we work with sometimes, you're getting hosed or that your client's getting hosed. Most recently, I'm working with a contractor who came to me after um, uh, coming through the SIM school and he was a contractor that listened uh, appropriately about uh, proper sizing and we talked about rules of thumb, which I hate, but if we're gonna throw them out, you ought to know kind of what the rules of thumb are for proper sizing in a type of house that you build or construct or design are for your area. And I know in this area that typically if we're talking air conditioning, I'm gonna on an average deal with about a ton for 1,100 square feet of living space. Just a, there's my rule of thumb, despite the fact I hate to use them. So when this guy came back to me and says, we're designing a 3,300 square foot house with seven tons of ground source heat pump, <laughs> And a uh, contractor that is selling the ground source heat pump also is selling him $200,000 worth of wind, solar, thermal collection, and water collection. Okay? I said, and, well, he called me and said, this just can't be right, can it? I said, there's no way it's right. It's absolutely off the chart wrong. So when he challenged the individual, the HVAC contractor says, we have proprietary software that does our manual J calculations, and we're not going to give it out and we don't have time to explain it to your SIP guy anyway. We've told the homeowner they don't need these SIPs. They've got geotherm, ground source heat pump, and all of this photovoltaic to put on top. That's an HVAC contractor that had an ironclad contract with a $50,000 deposit, and by God, he was gonna sell that photovoltaic system along with that ground source heat pump, and they didn't need that SIPs. Once we challenged that HVAC contractor with the homeowner in the room, with a HERS rater whom we knew, who had run the numbers because I sent them the drawings, all of a sudden the seven tons turned into just slightly over three and a half tons. And all of a sudden the homeowner was taking a different view of this miracle HVAC contractor that they had found that had a really nifty website and talked about how great and wonderful they were. And it changed their tune quite a bit. Challenge these contractors. Because I'm telling you, when they're just working off rules of thumbs and selling these systems, they, in a lot of cases, are doing you a lot of damage. And I think it goes beyond that in that the damage that they can do is physical damage to the structure. Because if you want to get into the talk about short cycling, and most of you know what that's all about, and not removing the humidity level, that's just a recipe for disaster. It's things that we may be trying to do all the right and wonderful things to our clients to give them a good, durable, and stable house is being muddied by the inappropriate rules of thumbs that are being thrown out and used by HVAC contractors.